Thank you folks for tuning in to BZ Bushcraft today. Today's video is going to be based on personal first aid kits. We are going to discuss and I'm going to go through the kit that I carry. Starting with the pouch all the way to all the contents in the pouch. This is a kit that I carry on my person. I have one in my vehicle. I use it in the woods, camping, daily travels, and even in my home. So, give me a few minutes, let me readjust the camera, and we will go over. Okay folks, right here is the first aid kit pouch that I use. It is made by MC Star. It retails for approximately $14 to $15 on eBay. That's where I purchased mine. The first aid patch on it is a Condor 231 first aid medical patch. Retails for about four to five dollars. So this is the Rip Away Molly Edition OD Green. It's got the Molly on the back, along with the two D rings to attach a shoulder strap to. On the front is a plastic buckle and strap for the rip away, just like this. So it's easy to attach to a backpack, chest rig, or any other Molly equipment you have. Okay, let's get started. On the inside, okay, we're going to open it up here. <coughs> and if you notice, inside the pack is three large compartments. And we're going to go over each compartment separately. The first one we will do is this end zipper mesh compartment, which is really nice because it keeps the smaller items you have secure. For starters, we have triple antibiotic ointment, a tube of hydrocortisone cream, The always trust it digital thermometer, a emergency space bl space blanket, a triangle bandage sling, mole skin to help protect our feet. Two different types of tweezers, a fine point and a wide point. Also in here we keep fingernail clippers. Some people might think why fingernail clippers, but hygiene with your nails is very important. I also keep a selection of medications in here. From a little container of ibuprofen, anti-diarrhea medication, cold and flu, antihistamine, are also known as allergy pills, and sinus pills. Give us one minute and we'll get to the next pouch. Okay, we are going to go over the center compartment. In here we have a pack of latex rubber gloves and neoprene rubber gloves. A roll of half inch medical tape along with a one inch roll of medical tape. We also have a small container of hand sanitizer. We have two ace bandages. Three rolls of two inch sterilized gauze. Three rolls of three inch sterilized gauze. A 
one roll of sports wrap or also known as vet wrap and that's all under the elastic straps that are in here once we get this thing completely emptied we will discuss the whole tire pouch a bag of alcohol wipes a little pack of hand sanitizer wipes yes we have hand sanitizer plus the wipes are really nice too and we have a wire splint system that can be used for arms or hands fingers legs if you don't have materials where you're located and that is everything in this pouch give me a minute and we will get ready to do the main pouch okay now getting back to the main big pouch area right here under some elastic strapping we have a package of regular band-aids a package of fingertip band-aids and a package of knuckle band-aids we have a set of medical shears or scissors sorry and a pair of medical shears a pair of bent hemos and straight hemos a package of q-tips and you're probably saying why q-tips one if you have to clean your ears out you got q-tips two you do not want to use the ointment that you have directly on a wound you can use a sterile q-tip to apply that to the wound area a package of large band-aids especially if you have children those are something you're going to want to have around a military trauma dressing a first aid guide even though you might have taken training it's always good to have a refresher in an emergency situation a CPR mask they're really inexpensive you can get them on eBay Amazon um, online different places for under 10 bucks this one I've had for a while this brand I've always used I would rather use a CPR mask than do skin to skin contact with somebody okay now we have a bag with two by two three by three and four by four gauze pads yes it might seem a lot but I would rather be prepared than unprepared for an emergency situation with everything that you have seen in this video I myself feel comfortable taking care of any situation that may occur at any time am I saying this will handle gunshot wounds it's gonna take a lot of stuff that's in your kit to take care of one gunshot wound but your standard cuts scrapes uh, splinters the only thing we don't have in here is burn cream that is something I don't keep in these kits a lot um, standard if you're outdoors and your sinuses flare up I can take care of that allergies bother me in the woods or out every day I have the medication for that headache pains have the ibuprofen I am NOT a paramedic I used to be one so you don't see anything here that a normal common man or woman can go to the store and buy everything you've seen here except for the CPR mask and the field trauma dressing kit and the pouch and the wire splint which you can get them sometimes is everything's been gotten from Dollar Tree Family Dollar or another large chain dollar store located here in Michigan it is very inexpensive to put a kit together like this the pouch like I said is about fifteen dollars 
if you want the patch on it to identify it as a first aid kit, looking at four to five dollar range, and all the supplies that are in this kit ran me about thirty-five dollars to maybe forty. Some stuff was bought, it come in multiple pack. It's in other kits. So, with that being said, I thank you. We will go over the bag now next. Okay, here's an overview of all the stuff that is in the bag. On the front of the bag here, you will see a large Velcro area. You can put your name, the first aid patch, or any other patches you desire to put on this. You have three rows of Molly attachment for the front, so you could attach another pouch to this. On the back side is the Velcro panel that you apply your ripway patch panel to which is Molly compatible. Also, you have the large D-rings, like I said before, to attach it to a shoulder strap. You have a really nice handle that is attached to the pouch for carry. You have a very long web strap with plastic buckle system that goes over the front. And you can put something else in here also. Now the inside, you have the back plate pouch, which has got a very large pouch right here, another small inner pouch, and three piece, three slots of Velc um, elastic. Now going to the center, you have two Velcro strap areas right here. You have two large ones with two smaller ones on the top of each one along with you have a pouch a pocket going to the end is a mesh pocket that is got a zipper it's nice for see-through it makes everything really nice to open up I would like to thank everybody for watching this video like subscribe share look for us on Facebook there will be a link to our Facebook channel our Google Plus account our online store and our email address down below in the in this description box along with a full description and specifications on the pouch and the Condor medical patch thank you a lot have a good day See you on the next video.